I like it. Isn't that smooth? Oh. <laughs> hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I've got a big twisted pile of pipe and rod that I need to deal with. And when I drug this pile of junk out of the weeds, a bunch of people were giving me ideas or suggestions about the best way to cut that pipe up. So today I've invited my dad out to help me test a few different ways to cut this pipe and do like a pros and cons comparison. We've got a few different new blade options here. I've also got a plasma cutter and a portable bandsaw that we'll probably bring into the mix. So we're just gonna work on this pipe and give our thoughts on which of these is the best tool. Do you predict a winner ahead of time? <laughs> uh, the carbide's pretty good, but then again, that bandsaw seemed to make real quick work of it. The one thing about doing your own work is sometimes it involves cleaning up your own messes. Yeah. And uh, in this case, there's a lot of good materials here that can go into another project. We're going to use some of this pipe to build a bridge across the pond. That project I've been talking about for a year, it's really going to happen soon. I'm lining everything up and we're going to get it done. So the other thing we'll talk about at the end is the cost of the tools and the blades and, and things like that. So let's. I guess we'll just stop talking and get started. All right, so we're going to start with the grinder. This is a brand new diamond cutting wheel made for heavy metal cutting and it's a corded grinder and i think i'm gonna make a couple cuts i'll let dab make a couple cuts and i'm actually gonna time it while he's cutting and see how long it takes to cut through this i was originally planning to play all of the footage of cutting this pipe at regular speed, but then I realized the video would have been 30 minutes long. So to shorten it up, all of the cutting footage is played at eight times speed. The grinder took a minute and 30 seconds to cut the pipe, and it took a minute and 30 seconds to cut this steel rod, and it was really a hassle to use the grinder. Yeah, that was a one inch, I believe, one inch diameter solid steel. That stuff cuts slow. I'm going to check the time, and in a minute we'll reference the actual time for each cut. But for now, let's switch from the handheld grinder and use the reciprocating saw, and we'll just keep working through all of these different cutting methods. Another point that seems probably really obvious, and it's running through your mind right now, is that each of these tools is designed for different uses. That's absolutely true. And we're going to talk about that at the end, but right now we're just using them for what we actually need to do. This one was a big surprise. The reciprocating saw took a minute and 20 seconds on the pipe, but only 30 seconds on the steel rod. That almost cut, that cut better than I thought it would. It, it cut every bit as quick as the grinding wheel, maybe more so. Yeah, and we'll actually check it with a timer, but I think that was better than the grinder. Maybe felt safer. Yep, yeah, well, it's definitely safer. I'm certain that's a lot faster. Yeah, definitively. That's probably going to be... Faster and safer to operate. Yeah. And I think the bandsaw has, has some of the same characteristics. I think it's faster and safer to operate. I... Or I can kind of break it. I was expecting a quick cut with the circular saw because it has a lot of torque. But it took two minutes on the rod. That was faster than with the grinder because it's, it's a bigger motor, more powerful. But... Uh, I, I personally I feel less safe with it. It's a lot more likely to grab. And that was my like expectation. A, just like with falling a tree too, you've got to be aware of where it can pinch if it falls a certain way. We actually gave up on even finishing this cut with the circular saw. It was just going so slow and trying to bind that we stopped at the four minute mark. Well, 
<sighs> Get the slide torch, huh? Hope I can reach the rest of the way through. that has any grit left on it probably not not much not near as much as it started off with so now we've tested three sets of blades that you can pick up at the hardware store for tools you probably already have and to different levels they all kind of sucked but now we're going to get the two vivor products that i've already showed you which is a portable bandsaw and a plasma cutter and we're going to see how those compare because kind of the question to me is, is it worth it to get these tools that I've been showing from Vivor or to use the saw you already have with one of these blades? And it's going to depend kind of on what you're doing, but let's make the let's make those cuts and see. Yeah. Yeah. This clip is in real time and took 14 seconds and it only took 16 seconds on the rod, just dramatically faster than anything else. I like it. Isn't that smooth? Oh. <laughs> now that was, was that one of the V-Bores? Yeah. So th this V-Bore portable bandsaw is the right tool for what we are doing. Smooth as butter. Yeah, we'd still be grinding <laughs> with anything else we've tried. Yeah. And like I said, each tool has different purposes, but for this, this is a winner. I'm putting a link in the description of this video to save you 5% off of this portable bandsaw. I, I think the uh, reciprocating saw would be a second choice because there's so many places you can't get that into. You're cutting off the head of a bolt and something you're taking apart or something like that. It, 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 it cut better than the grinders. Yeah, and so each one has its place. If you have thin metal and you need a long straight cut, then the best tool we've shown is the circular saw. But it, it did not do very well for this, and neither did the grinder. So a grinder has some different flexibility. The reciprocating saw is great for tight places and cuts much better than I thought. But for a, a chop like this, that bandsaw is great. Yeah. And it has a stand where you can let, you put it in that stand, you clamp your piece down, because the stand has that clamp built onto it, and just let gravity walk it down. I thought that would be the best tool. I didn't think it would be that dramatic that it was the best tool. Now, I don't think that the plasma cutter is the best tool for this, but we've got it. We still have pipe to cut up, so let's go up towards the shop because my plasma cutter cord's only 50 feet and make a couple cuts and see how that does. And I guess we should cut one piece of the solid rod with the uh, bandsaw. Then there are things that the plasma cutter will do that these won't. And so, you know, it really depends on your purpose. But for this purpose, that bandsaw is just amazing. I, I'm blown away. Yeah, let's cut a piece of solid rod with the bandsaw, then go up and try the plasma cutter, which obviously can do all kinds of more fine work that none of these other tools can. Another factor is the cost of all these blades and maintenance besides the initial cost. So all of them are going to be in the same kind of price range. Maybe a circular saw with a nice blade, you're looking at around $100 and it was more like 160 for the portable bandsaw, but not a dramatic difference. But as far as replacement blades, that cutoff wheel on the circular saw, I think was like $35, and it felt like it was pretty worn out by the time we finished that cut. So you'd spend a lot of money making a, cutting a lot of this type of material with it. And I think it's the same thing with any of those other blades, but I made probably a dozen cuts on one bandsaw blade and it was still cutting and this is a new blade but only for this demonstration the other one wasn't worn out and as far as several people were telling me i needed to lubricate the blade that's probably a good idea on the bandsaw blade but all of these other blades said right on them for dry cutting which i didn't really know but i was going into it looking for that so right here on the blade dry cutting actually
It's it's not just about how quickly it cuts either. This was effortless. You don't you don't have to, with any of this, you don't want to force the blade. You want it to just gradually flow through. But I, I'm i not tired. Yep. With that grinder, I was sweating. Yep, and I was having to move it all over because it's kind of surface grinding uh -huh. while it's cutting if you don't have a perfect angle. So several different ways that that's just more convenient to use. I know I want one. I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> I've got a separate video about this plasma cutter, so if you want the information on the model of plasma cutter and all that, I'll put a link at this end of this video to the video about the plasma cutter. We'll kind of just skip that today, but it's made by Vivor, runs off 50 amp. It's a 220 or a 110. We're cutting the pipe. The grinder was a minute and 30 seconds. Reciprocating saw, a minute and 20 seconds. Circular saw, four minutes. The portable bandsaw, 16 seconds. Cutting the rod, the grinder was a minute 30. Recip, 30 seconds. Circular saw, two minutes. Band saw, 14 seconds. The plasma cutter was slow on the pipe and we didn't even try it on that steel rod because it's just not rated to cut anything that is that thick. There's definitely a learning curve to cutting with that plasma cutter. On thin metal, where I was coming in from the side and making a cut, felt pretty easy to use. Had a little bit of trouble being able to tell when I was getting all the way through this pipe, and I made a nasty, ugly cut. It will do it, but I don't think it's the right tool for cutting this pipe. Well, if, you, if you're if you used to using one, you could probably cut it quicker and easier with a plasma cutter than most anything else, but there is a learning curve to it. And unless your hands are extremely steady, you don't get that straight a cut. Mm -hmm. The plasma cutter will do things the other tools won't, but it's not good for everything. Yep, and on a flat surface, on a work table, you can make a more straight edge. You can use a guide. It's got a little guide on the tip of it, but freehand on that, <laughs> I kind of had a hard time. <laughs> so we got more pipe to cut up, but I think we've done all the comparison so I appreciate you guys taking time to watch the video. I appreciate you coming and helping. It was fun. I'll put links on the screen to some other videos and I'll see you next time.